Hello there, and thanks for tuning into this screencast. I'm Rex Proctor. This is a very important screencast and should be watched by anyone starting out using angles. What we're going to cover off is the interface and two important aspects of the interface that are very unique to angles. Angles is a single window multi-tabbed application. And what we mean by multi-tabbed is it works like a web browser where you can open up multiple websites in uh, different tabs across the top of the window. It's very convenient. Tabs are great because then you can simply open up 20 different websites and you can navigate between those. Imagine if you had to open up 20 different websites in 20 different windows. It would not be a very fun day for you in terms of the Windows management side of things. So the issue that we had to solve though is Angles requires that you view multiple files because we're going to have a movie, we're going to have a timeline, we might have a markup or a composer, and they all work together and they all have to be in the same view at the same time, unlike a website where you're just viewing probably one website at a time. So how we solve that is we created the Super Tab. The Super Tab allows you to break up the window into different views or panes, like a window pane in your household. So I'm going to break up my super tab into a top and bottom arrangement. In the top, I'm going to create a movie collection, and in the bottom, I'm going to create a timeline. Now, I'm not going to go into the nitty-gritty of all of the features that we're showing off here, the movie collection and the timeline and so on. I just want to chat about how you use and open those files within the structure that Angle is presenting in the window. I'm going to link my timeline and away we go. Now, if I wanted to create a new file, I can do that by clicking on any of the tab. There's a plus button in the right hand side and I can create a new file. So if I wanted to add another timeline, I can click on that and then I can link it. So you can see that we're now setting up for multiple tabs inside of the views. If I wanted to split the view, I can split anywhere, any direction, left, right, top, bottom, etc. So let's split to the left and I can start creating a file there. Let's say I wanted to create a markup and I'll just add one button to that. And so you can see that the interface is rather flexible. It is multi-tabbed and splittable anywhere that you want to. Now it gets better than that though. Along the top in our super tab bar here, we can create multiple super tabs so that you can have kind of a project based approach. So if I create a new capture super tab there, it will then allow me to jump between the two different arrangements that I have set up or the two different projects, if you will. Let's create just another empty super tab and we'll create one that's very common like that, a tri-split. You can drag and move those around and set up that scaling any way you want. And by clicking any of these, obviously as I've done, you can create new files. Just remember, you can also find those underneath here. So if you've opened up something in one of these views, um, you can continue to add new files there. Now, I wanna draw your attention over to the left. And this is, again, another unique feature inside of angles. It's the way that we manage files. In the left hand sidebar is our files and windows manager. And basically that's just a list of any content that you've created or that you've connected or imported into angles. So here we're working out of our home folder. Now I'm going to control click on the home folder and reveal that in finder. The foldering system is, is really important to understand. Basically what a folder is, is a self-contained package for your files. You can create folders anywhere you want. Generally people will create a folder for a certain topic or a certain team. So you might have your Sydney Swans uh, folder and all of their matches and anything you've created such as a composer or any files will be located in that folder. It's a highly portable system. You can literally move those folders around and double click to mount them in your system. So let's have a look at that. So if I right click, I create a new folder. I'm going to do that on my desktop and we'll just call it demo. 
and you'll see that this folder will pop up on the desktop. There it is. And you can see it's now in my files list as a folder. You'll notice that its disclosure triangle is red, and that means that it is the focus folder. Any new files that I create will be saved inside of the demo folder. You can create folders anywhere you like. You can create them on a USB device, drop all the files in, and then hand that off to someone. You can use a file server. Wherever there's a volume that you can save to, you can create a folder there and then move content over to that. So for instance, we've created this Swans training. I can drag and drop that into my demo folder and now it's located inside of there. So you'll notice if I, if I hold the option key, I can hide and show all or disclose all of the folders that I have in my files list. It just basically exposes all the files. So if I go to my second super tab and I go, yep, I want to open that from there and I want to create a new timeline and then I'll link that, you'll see that we are saving into the demo folder. Now let's move our focus a convenient way, holding option and double clicking on the folder name. And you'll see that the disclosure triangle has moved. Alternatively, I can do that by right clicking on the menu um, or on the folder and choosing set focus from the menu. Now let's get rid of this. So what I need to do is close the content. I just close the whole super tab altogether. And then I control click on the demo folder and I remove it. Now this files list works very similar to your doc on your Mac. It is just the shortcut to the folder location. So by removing it, as you can see on my desktop, I didn't delete the demo folder. I simply deleted the shortcut to it inside of angles. If I double click on it, it will then add it to the files list and I can start to use. Since I've opened this up previously, I can double click on one of the timelines and it will open up in the last super tab that it was opened in. So very easy. Angle starts to learn things as you open and use files. You'll see that the arrangement is exactly as I left it when I closed and I removed the demo folder from my uh, files list here in the left hand sidebar. So it's basically like having Finder to the left is essentially a good way of thinking about how the files list works. So let's have a look and let's go into my content over here and we'll double click on my swans folder and that will then mount it or put it into the files list and I can search for things. So if I'm looking for anything with SYD, it'll automatically filter in what I'm looking for. So you could have a hundred folders mounted in here and you can quickly find files. Just remember to have a good naming convention. So let's start opening these up. I can drag and drop there. I can open up that there. I can do that there and that there. So having multiple tabs is incredibly convenient. For instance, if I'm doing a scout, I can grab and have all of those timelines ready to go and export or whatever I need to do with those um, very conveniently because they're all right there. And I'm not doing any Windows management and trying to you know, rearrange everything, how it looks. It's all coming up in the expected location. Now, a couple of clever features that I want you to know about. If you double tap the left command key, that will show and hide the left hand sidebar. And the same is true for the inspector on the right. If I double tap, it will show and hide the inspector. These features are located in the main toolbar and if you have a touch bar, they'll be in the display of the touch bar. Let's close off this pane and we'll pull this across and I can do something like split to the right and start creating a composer and take some clips and paste them in there. So you can see having this split and multi-tabbed environment is really, really easy to use and, and greatly convenient. I mean, just such a convenience to be able to move through all of the different files that you might want to have open. And one last thing, if I quit and then I relaunch angles, everything comes back how I left it last time. So it's great because you can leave stuff, then quit, and then come back to it at a later date and move. 
But something I do want to warn people, especially if you're using multiple angles, is be careful how many super tabs you have open. You can end up opening a tremendous amount of files. So be wary with super tabs. You probably shouldn't have 20 or 30 of them open at the same time. Because multi-angle means you might have four angles. You might end up having 20 files open, 20 movie collections. And that means you have 80 movies open that are ready to go at any time. So just be aware of that. Don't get too crazy with super tabs. So that's what I wanted to go over in this screencast. It is certainly a very unique interface and does take a bit to get used to it. But once you do, you'll find that it is very, very convenient and powerful.